And that's Jay Dilla. I mean, there's so much more I could talk about with him in production technique, but I just want you to kind of get a sense of, you know, the evolution of, of beats and beat making. And, and it's interesting to hear and see all of the cycles, right? Because like, yeah, now with like what's popping now um, still is like that trap sound, which is 808s, you know, 808 sounds, you know, um, which gets us back to like, Run DMC and like post disco era rap, you know, uh, and 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 we're getting back to so many of these things, you know, Kendrick Lamar using like instrumentalists on a rap record, you know, and we all think this stuff is new, right? Like we all think things are new, um, lyrical subject matters new. I mean, it's all been done, you know. I mean, that's the thing. It's like at one point all this shit was new, you know, and. It may be new for y'all, but it ain't new for me, you know? And I've heard these sounds before. I've heard, the, we've heard these styles and we've heard these, these bars and these rhymes and all this stuff before. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter because that's like, you know, hip hop is about reinvention, you know? Um, and reinventing records and reinventing music and putting it in the context for a new audience. And we've seen this with beat making and sampling and we're hearing it now with 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 the music it's with the music itself you know um um you know after almost damn near 50 years like you know how, you know what's going to be new you know and so i mean it is what it is but i hope you know this class is giving you a little bit of a, like a nice little understanding of how we got to this point right like i haven't spent a whole lot of time in fact very little time on like modern you know artists um because that's, we're living in that, right? Like, how did, my thing is like, how did we get from, how did we get to this point, you know? And I'm leaving out, I fucking left out Kanye West, you know, like I left out a ton of stuff. Because again, we got 10, 10 weeks, you know? And I just wanna, you know, hit major, major points of how we got to, to where we're at, you know? And Kanye West, you know, what he's really no what his main thing was that like he really did for production technique, for beat making, and why he's actually really important is he, he reintroduced and introduced the sped up soul sample where you would sample a soul sweet soul record on forty five RPM and it was all high pitched and that you would loop off that and he did that on his early records. Um, and that's kinda like what actually broke him through as you know, unique genius. Um, you know, but I mean, this, you know, this, again, this class has been a sort of overview, um, and tried to hit on like important moments in history that have gotten us here. And there's, you know, we're obviously even out mad, mad shit <laughs> is getting left out, but just something to think about as we move from the old to the, to the new, from the old head to the new head shit. Right. And we think about like some of the aesthetics. You know, first 30, 30 years, 35 years, whatever, of hip-hop music, you sample records, right? I mean, a lot, you know, we had bands that didn't last too long, you know, uh, it's, you know, started with sampling records, you know, with, with DJs cutting up records and then sampling records, sampling records, right? And what's it now? Fucking don't matter. You sample anything. You buy a sound pack, you use a sound pack, you sample from YouTube. You know, it don't matter really, you know, there's no rules. I mean, that's kind of actually where it's at. It's like, you know, rules, ethics, you know, they don't matter now. No one cares. It's the internet era. It's a social media era. Who gives a fuck? Um, old stuff is, you know, old beats and, and hip hop rap shit is like complex layering. Like the beats were like complex. They were layered, you know, became layered. Uh, it, you know, really impressive arrangements. Now it's more like, you know, sparse beats. Way more sparse. Uh, very simple melodies, you know, um, loops. A lot of loops, a lot of looping uh, happening. Um, yo, in the old school, no biting allowed. You do not copy someone's shit. Now it's like, what's biting? Don't fucking matter. Like, biting is like the new original, <laughs> you know? Like, someone does something that sounds good, that people like. 10 other motherfuckers are gonna do it. Um, the old school aesthetic is uh, authenticity is greater than your brand value, right? 
like you have to be real like at least try to be real even if you're being fake you present it as as real now it's like you're a brand you're a brand you're a brand name like you're not real because you're a name you're a personality you're a persona and that's kind of something we've come to accept you know um music old music had a thought of shelf life of longevity of being created so that you could listen to it in, in 20 years um you know now it's about being viral being a meme um you know blowing up for a minute and whatever there's going to be very few records mark my words mark my words there's going to be very few records that have come out and records i mean like songs that have come out recently in the last five years you know uh, that y'all love right now that you are going to be bumping in 20 years that will be bumping in in the clubs you know um i know you can play like nothing but a g thing in a club now and 20 year olds react to it you know what i'm saying um will you be able to do the same with Lil Uzi Vert music in 20 years. I don't know. Will you be making dinner, um, you know, for your kids, for your family of five in your little suburban house in 20 years, um, you know, bumping trap music? I don't know, right? But the music's made to be hot because it's, it's dealing with our attention spans and where we're at, you know, as a society. And stuff isn't made to last for a long time. It's made to sell and then move on. Um, back in the day, lyrical priority. You got to have lyrics. You got to have bars. Um, now it's more about you create a, a feel, a vibe, a sound. You know, um, what you say isn't so important necessarily. Like not a lot of message records are coming out now. It's more about creating a, a vibe, a party vibe. Um, back in the day gatekeepers, record labels, radio stations, um, DJs, you know, who are on radio, MTV, right? Now there ain't no gatekeepers. No one's doing quality control. And that's good and bad, right? It means there's a ton of SoundCloud rapper bullshit out there, but it also means like people who never would have made it through the economic censors of the record labels 30 years ago, who we need to hear, we do hear. You know what I mean? Um, the old school aesthetics is a priorator prioritization, respect, love, understanding of history. You hear this, you know, in, in Tribe Called Quest music as they shout out Zulu Nation and all that. You know, I mean, just like a reverence for the history of the music in the art and culture. Uh, now I always say, who's Biggie? I believe that was a, um, oh, fuck, what's his name? The ultimate meme, who is also gone. Um, oh, and he had a beef with Pete Rock. Oh my gosh. Lil Yachty. <laughs> um, who was like interviewed and he's like, who's Biggie, right? Like they don't, they don't care. Like, like the history don't matter anymore. Like, but y'all know, like y'all know, y'all should know a little bit about, about the history. Um, that used to be, important you know i don't think it's as important um now you know for artists um and here we go like back in the day beat making rapping it was all about rules ethics um rites of passage you know sort of hazed your way in right you had to pay your dues uh you know a lot, a lot of old, old heads say um now it's fuck that like don't matter your rules are bullshit go fuck yourselves you know it doesn't matter um and that's kind of dope, actually, you know, like when I, you know, I, I adhere to my, the rules, you know, that I believe are important when I make beats and when I DJ and all that stuff. Right. I adhere to that. But those are the rules that I came up in, you know, and don't let no old head like me, you know, I ain't defining what is real and what's not, what's good and what's not, you know, um, or what the way of making beats or whatever is, you know. Um, and don't let no old crust do that, you know, old crusty head, you know. Um, but we're probably going to hold on to our rules of, of beat making and sampling records and, and all that stuff. But it's kind of dope, you know, to see, you know, the time we live in where, like, also where all this stuff, right, like, oh, the meme and going viral and, you know, democracy of access. So everybody can make beats on a computer or whatever, on an app 
uh, record on an app, put the music out on uh, to the world on an app, you know. Um, it's interesting to see like more like artists like getting back to like that that um you know old school kind of sound and see hearing the cycles of all that like come back you know like i see a lot of uh a lot of kid the like kids young adults your age where like 90s stuff is cool like 90s clothes and 90s stuff y'all rocking rocking champions and stuff oh that's cool you know um I'm hearing that in some of some of the music too, where a lot of artists are kind of like going going back or like sticking to like that, that style and that and that vibe. And um, I'm always like thankful <laughs> for that because I'm like, oh, I can fuck with that, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, we're gonna watch this last video. This is gonna be it. I'm not even gonna talk about it, but uh, it's called "Rap and Deconstructed." It sets off with MF Doom. I'd last ask you to listen to. Um, two of my favorite MF Doom songs, uh, Rhymes Like Dimes and Doomsday. Uh, highly recommend MF Doom, the Mad Villain stuff he did. Basically anything, I I'm a big Doom fan. Um, but I want you to watch this rap in Deconstructed because it gets into sort of the evolution of rap and the evolution of flow and kind of is a nice sort of, you know, because I did sort of de-emphasize rapping and lyrics for beats. Um, this kind of emphasizes that and shows a little bit of the history and advancement um, and technique in a nice video. You could also watch the Kanye Deconstructed too if you're a fan because I, I like these videos. But I hope you all are good. Hope you had a good term. Hope you learned like a couple things like really like my goal for this class is very simple, right? It's not about grades. It's not about, you know, slides and videos and uh, shit like that. Like what I want for you is to be able to sit down with someone like me and have a conversation like about this stuff and y'all can talk about quick mix theory y'all can talk about chopping y'all can talk about the MPC you know what I'm saying like y'all can like talk about Queen Latifah and ladies first <clears throat> Y'all know like about who the beat junkies are, or what turntablism is, or like y'all know who Cool Herc is and what he's known for. Like, that's what I want. I I want y'all to like be able to have that conversation, be able to like you know talk to like your parents about N.W.A. Um, you know and their influence and also like the acting involved and all that stuff. And, and, and um, I hope like this class is giving you some of those tools because that's really what I want out of this. I want y'all to be able to um, articulate this stuff um, and, and, and you know, for yourselves, but also really it's like a conversational thing. Like the way I'd really grade this class is uh, I, I'd invite y'all over to the crib. We come and hang out on the porch and we talk for a half an hour and I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, Susie Q, uh, she fucking knows what time it is. She's got all this stuff, you know. Um, hey, you know, that's kind of what I would want, like, uh, for that, for this class. But it ain't happening, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, it's been nice. I've had fun talking to the camera <laughs> and editing myself um, and kind of going through some of this stuff. So, yeah, I hope you've had a good one. And, uh, you know, stay in touch um, and, and uh, keep your heads up. And uh, take care of yourselves and your family and your friends. And uh, keep digging for records. And I'll check you on the flip side. I don't know what that is. Peace.